Hello! It's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between rebonding and Brazilian blowout. If you want to know what's the difference between the two, please keep on watching! Alright guys, so I read a lot of comments from my Brazilian blowout videos asking me what's the difference between rebonding and Brazilian blowout. So I decided to make a separate video about it so I can discuss it further with you. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also click the bell button beside it so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Rebonding is a treatment that makes your hair straight. It straightens naturally wavy and curly hair. Brazilian Blowout is a treatment for damaged and dry hair. It doesn't make your hair permanently straight, but it can make your hair less frizzy. Which one is better? Well, this question depends on what you really want to do with your hair. To answer this question, I'm going to be asking you some questions. Question number one, do you want to have straight hair? If your answer is yes, then go for a rebond. Rebonding makes your hair permanently straight for at least or for about six months. It breaks the natural wave or curl of the hair and it straightens it using flat iron and of course their rebonding cream. If your answer is no, then go for a Brazilian blowout. It will give you a straight hair after treatment since you're going to iron it, but after rinsing it, your hair will return into its original wavy or curly hair. Do you have damaged hair? If your answer is yes, you definitely need a Brazilian blowout. Brazilian blowout adds keratin to your hair so that it will look healthier and shinier and of course, it will bring back life to your dull and damaged hair. Rebonding uses creams that breaks the natural wave or curl of your hair. So if your hair is already damaged, then stay away from more damage due to rebonding. If your answer is no, well, lucky you! Question number three, did you bleach your hair? If your answer is yes, stay away from rebonding. Rebonding on bleached hair will just cause breakage. Go for a Brazilian blowout. Your hair needs a lot of nourishment right now. If your answer is no, your hair is not bleached, go back to question number one. In my opinion, since I've already tried both, I had rebonding before and I've been doing Brazilian blowout for the last two years then I can say that both have their own pros and cons depending on what your hair needs and what you want for your hair. So when I had rebonding, yes, it makes my hair really straight and it looks like it won't get any frizz. But once your natural hair grows, your root area will create a curve and it's not pretty. Right now, I've been loving Brazilian Blowout because not only am I allowed to style my hair in whatever way I want, straight, curly, or tying it up, my hair, even if it's damaged, even if it's bleached a million times, it's still smooth and manageable. And that's what we all want, right? So there you have it. I hope this video helps. And if you have any more questions regarding Brazilian blowout and rebonding, please leave it in the comment box below and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, smile! There's always a reason to be happy. Bye!